Uh, this morning's panel is a very exciting one, and I'm, I'm very pleased to introduce uh, our presenter, Carla Thompson. Uh, Carla has been a senior analyst with Guidewire Group, uh, and she was one of the first analysts I was aware of that was covering the semantic technology space. She's been covering it since about 2005. Um, I also am proud to consider Carla a good friend. Uh, I, I think you're in for a treat, and our panelists are in good hands. Um, this is going to be a broad look at where the search industry has been and where it's going. Uh, folks, please uh, give a warm welcome to Carla Thompson. Hello. Hello. Thank you, everyone. Um, we have some big brains on this panel today that uh, we're just going to jump right in. Um, to start off, I want to spend a moment introducing each one of our panelists tell you a little bit about them. But then after I introduce each one of you, I, I'd like you to tell us in one or two sentences, and, and I'm going to stick to that pretty closely because we have a lot to cover, just in one or two sentences, what sets your technology, your search technology, apart from the others. So <clears throat> to start off, we have uh, Tomasz Imelinski, uh, who is EVP of Global Search and Answers at ask.com. Uh, he is also a professor uh, at the Department of Co Computer Science at Rutgers. And in 1991, he co-invented the concept of association rule mining. And his paper on this subject is one of the 20 most cited, cited papers in all of computer literature. So, uh, Tomas, why don't you give us your two-sentence differentiation mm -hmm. for Ask.com? Well, we have, at Ask, we have uh, Proportionally to the traffic, we have about three times as many questions as uh, other search engines. Uh, people still view us as, uh, as a question-answering company, despite of many, many years of, you know, development over broad search. So, so we're focusing on questions, and uh, we want to answer questions uh, from multiple sources, structured data, unstructured data, the best we can. We want these users to, to come to, uh, in addition to the general search. But that's our focus, questions. Excellent, thank you. And good job sticking with the two sentences. Right. Uh, next we have Scott <laughs> Prevost, who is General Manager and Director of Products at, at the PowerSet division of Bing at Microsoft. <coughs> He's responsible for developing core product offerings for PowerSet, which as you know was acquired by, by Microsoft last year. And the PowerSet technology is a key aspect of the company's new search engine, Bing. <laughs> so, Scott, we, we've heard a lot about Bing lately, and, and we are going to talk about it a bit later in the panel, but from your point of view, how is the engine different? Um, so I, I want to actually answer that for both PowerSet and, and Bing. Okay. Um, for Bing, it's really about uh, understanding the intent behind the queries, understanding the kinds of tasks that people are trying to do, and helping them uh, by organizing the page uh, in, in a way that allows people to, to get to their answer uh, in an easier fashion. Um, for PowerSet, it's really about having a much deeper understanding of the content that we index so that we can match the actual meaning of a user's query to the meaning that's encoded in the pages as opposed to just the keywords. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, and next we have Peter Norvig, who is Director of Research at Google. Um, he was responsible for the core web search algorithms at Google from 2002 to 2005 and he's been director of research there from 2005 on. Um, he was previously head of computational sciences at NASA, Ames Research Center, and uh, he has more than 50 publications in computer science, including Artificial Intelligence, A Modern Approach, and Paradigms of AI Programming. And perhaps my, my favorite part of his bio is he's the author of the world's longest palindromic sentence, which I was asking him about earlier. It's 18,000 words long, so. I'm not going to ask him to uh, read that for us now, but perhaps a topic of conversation later. So, so Peter, you might have the, the hardest job of all here in this two-sentence description. How is Google different? <laughs> uh, I guess we focus on being comprehensive, accurate, and fast. And so that means we have to keep on innovating in terms of uh, crawling and discovery of documents, in terms of uh, ranking and in terms of uh, systems engineering. Uh, and I guess one thing that distinguishes us from a lot of companies is, uh, you know, most companies have to make this choice. Are you focused on uh, marketing or sales? 
and Google made the choice to say we're focusing on engineering and that's what's going to drive the company. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So next we have, <coughs> excuse me, Riza Verkhan, who is CEO of Akia, uh, founder and CEO. He is a nuclear scientist by training with a specialization in artificial intelligence and fuzzy logic. And between 1990 and 2000, he worked as a subcontractor to the U.S. government and handled multiple projects involving uh, the Savannah River plant and Los Alamos National Laboratory. So Riza, tell us, how is Hakia different? <coughs> Uh, we are uh, the complete uh, uh, semantic search engine from bottom up. Uh, we don't even have an index. We have a, something called QDEX. We have optimized the entire process for semantic operations. We focus on credible and dynamic content. And our, our objective is really to offer the users a new perspective. You have popularity perspective everywhere across the web today. So our objective is to, put, to provide the user a, an alternative perspective, which we call it credible, credible search results. So this is how we differentiate ourselves. Excellent. Thank you. Next we have uh, William Tunstall Pito, who is CEO of True Knowledge. He founded True Knowledge based on research that he began in 1998. He has more than 25 years of experience developing software products that push the boundaries of what is possible in artificial intelligence. And he's also credited with being the first and only person to develop software that can solve and explain cryptic crossword clues. <coughs> we have all sorts of talents on this board. Um, so William, some in our audience may not be familiar with true knowledge. In, in a couple of sentences, tell us what's different about the search. Basically, uh, what True Knowledge is is a platform that does direct question answering. Um, under the platform, it is, there's a knowledge base of the world's knowledge in structured form uh, and an inference engine which allows it to answer questions it's never seen before. And our, our approach is to, is to be complementary to search, to, to enhance search results when we can and stay quiet when we can't. And an example of that, we've just recently uh, published a Firefox extension that integrates our question answering into all the major search engines uh, at the client end. Excellent, thank you. And then lastly, we have Andrew Tompkins, who is Chief Scientist at Yahoo Search. He joined Yahoo Research in 2005 from IBM, and his research over the last eight years is focused on measurement, modeling, and analysis of content, communities, and users on the World Wide Web. And prior to that, he managed Information Principles Group at IBM's Almaden Research Center. So Andrew, how is, it's a little bit like, the, like uh, the question I asked Google, how is Yahoo different in the area of search? Well, Yahoo is Yahoo's very aggressive about uh, semantic annotation on URLs. We have a project called Search Monkey, which is about acquiring semantic information and then surfacing it onto the web search <coughs> result page. So the results look different. And in the time it takes me to say these couple of sentences, we'll probably actually live respond to uh, 10 or 15,000 queries that will actually be modified by incorporating semantic data directly into the visible user results that we show. Excellent, thank you. Well, thank you all for, for joining us today.